Welcome back to our Let's Play of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, we are on uh, Sunday, the 6th of the 7th moon. Um, I'm going to have to explore, because that's all they have for us. But we have some supports to do. So I have actually have a list of all the supports here. So I'm just going to take a moment to update them. So you're already C rank with, oh, did I already do this? Yes, apparently I did. Okay, so Edelgard, Edelgard and Hubert. Sometimes I wonder if your life could have taken you down a different path. If you had never met me and entered my service, you might have had a more peaceful... A more tedious path. Inconsequential and spoiled rotten, like so many other nobles. Never. My duty to you is no mere obligation. I chose this. I had thought that would be obvious to you. I understand you well. Better than anyone. But when I see you at the monastery, studying with the others, it makes me wonder what kind of life you might have had without me. That's all. Such a life may have had its appeal. I thought I'd left my years of carefree innocence behind me. But I cannot deny that I find myself enjoying my time at the monastery. I feel the same way. That enjoyment, however, is only thanks to you. Standing by your side is all that truly matters to me. I see. Then I won't speak of such things again. If it's really what you want, I'll gladly keep you by my side. The path I must walk is soaked in blood. It's a path that can lead to madness, can snatch away one's future, and can even take one's life. And the pool of blood at my feet is growing larger. Those stains can never be washed clean. Please leave the violence to me. A leader must be seen as pure, above the fray. Allow me to paint the path that lies before you, red with the blood of your enemies. I will do it gladly. <laughs> I bet you will. It's a little too eager to please through violence, isn't he? Alright, Linhart and Marianne. Ah, there it is. Just as I thought. But what is she hiding? Oh, Linhart, my apologies. I didn't mean to bother you. Ah, Marianne, you're no bother at all. In fact, you've arrived at precisely the right time. Uh huh? The right time for what? You have a crest, don't you? Uh, I don't. What are you saying? If you hide it, that just makes it more interesting. You do have one. I, um, please don't tell anyone. You can't tell anyone I have a crest. If people find out, then... What? Please. My adoptive father told me to keep it a secret. And I personally don't want it known. Who said I intended to tell anyone? Your secret is safe with me. I find it fascinating that you carry the crest of the erased hero. Please stop. Don't say another word. No one should know about or even speak of my crest. Nothing good comes of it. It's even the reason my parents disappeared. This crest only brings bad luck to anyone who comes near me. Even you, Linhart. You have to stay away. Bad luck generated by the crest? Now that would be a discovery well worth making. What manner of bad luck do you suppose might beset me? No, you shouldn't be so cavalier about something you couldn't possibly understand. I... I have to go. It's true, I don't understand. I very much want to. Hmm. Alright. Bernadetta and Petra. Petra's really nice. Never yells, never says mean things about people. Maybe she'd be my friend. Oh, there she is now. Okay, Bernie. You can do this. 
Bernadetta, are you needing help with something? <laughs> How did you know? Do you have eyes in the back of your head or something? I do not have that, no. Right. Um, can I ask you something? Do you want to, um, maybe, uh, be friends or something, Katie? Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't like me. I don't know what you think of me. What I am thinking? I am thinking that you remind me of Prey. What? Yes. Like a rabbit in the tall grass. Always watching for enemies. And you flee at any sign of danger. You are quick also. I must be careful that I am not hunting Bernie when I take out my bow. <laughs> oh, you try not to shoot me. That's, um, nice. You have similarities <coughs> with Prey. That is all I mean to be saying. S so you're saying you might end up hunting me? There is no need to have concern. I will make sure my arrows are not hitting you. Th that is comforting. <laughs> Whatever I did to deserve this, forgive me! You do not need forgiveness, but it is yours if you are wanting it. Was I saying something wrong? A little bit. Alright. And Petra and Yuri. Is that Yuri? I gotta evaporate! Even if I just curl into a ball, I'll pass as a boulder! Or a pebble. Hey, Bernadetta. <laughs> you can see me! <laughs> Tricky one. Always trying to hide when I'm around. Oh, sorry. Please forgive me. If you want forgiveness, then explain yourself. But make it quick. You always ramble on. Um, well, when I was little, my mother and father, they... You've got to be kidding. Cut to the chase, please. Uh, you remind me of one of my old friends. Oh, come now. Whoever this friend of yours is can't possibly compare to me. Uh, I'm telling the truth. All right, all right. What was his friend like then? The way you run and hide from me, they must have been a real piece of work. That's not it at all. He was the assistant to the gardener at our estate. He was gentle, trustworthy, gorgeous. And <laughs> gorgeous. Well, he was the only person who was ever nice to me. We used to run around the gardens playing together. And why is it you keep running away from me? That's... That, uh, do I really have to say? We hardly even know each other. You never have to do anything. But if you don't, you and I won't have a shot at knowing one another. And you'll carry on avoiding me forever. But that's no good either. Okay, okay. I'll tell you. The thing is, because of me, he got in trouble. After that, I never saw him again. You see, my father hated commoners. And when he found out I was spending a lot of time with one, well, he's probably dead now. And it's all my fault. It's because of me. He must have hated me. That... That doesn't sound right to me. Why would you think all that? Nothing you did would make his death your fault. And hating you for something that isn't your fault is absolutely absurd. Delusional, even. You're wrong! He'd definitely hate me if he knew! How would you know, anyway? What? Did you know my friend or something? In a manner... <sighs> right. So, remember back when you were a kid? You tripped while holding some gardening shears? And your friend got cut pretty badly. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I remember. But how did you know about that? If I'd bore you any ill will, it would have only been for cutting my face with those damn shears. Cutting your face? Shears? But there's no way! But there is. That friend? That was me, Bernadette. Anyway, 
I'm glad I finally <laughs> got to hear how you felt about all of that. Let's spend time together later and chat about the good old days. Get to know each other again. <laughs> but how did... Right. <clears throat> okay. So, since we have to uh, explore this month, let's do an exploration. Oh, we should check certifications. No one's up to level 10 yet. Never mind. Hey, Sothis. Heroes relic. However, could I know something? Still, it is heavy on my mind. The stone within the sword. A glow of red. Hmm? Oh, it is nothing. Okay. So it is time to look for lost items and uh, people to talk to. What's my professor level? D? D plus. This is a process. It takes a while, but it is necessary. Insect larva. Oops, I skipped one. Petra's room. Dorothea's room. Bernadetta. for something I probably can't help you I still don't know what's where around here hey I get hungry sometimes like anyone else what eating at night is bad for you <laughs> there's no way that's true wait really <laughs> all right We still have to try and recruit Marianne. Looking for anything that I could pick up that'll increase my maybe. It would be terrible if the greenhouse was targeted. The plants in here are incredibly valuable. This place contains the heart of Garrick Mach's 995 year history. So many beautiful flowers, plants that can save or end lives. They are all my precious children. Investigation notes. Okay. Must be for a mission that I can get thing in Ingrid's room. <clears throat> Nothing in Marianne's room. Nothing in Hilda's room. Nothing in Edelgard's room. Nothing in Hubert's room. Hmm. Ah. Nothing in Ferdinand's messy room. There's Cyril. It's even messier room. Nothing here. Hmm. 
Why does going down make me go slowly? There's nothing wrong with my new controller. Oh well. I see. Excuse me, Professor? I just wanted to let you know that Lady Rhea is always real concerned with you. She expects great things, I think. Please don't let her down, okay? Of course not. I hope you're not just saying that. Apparently the leader of my house has a quest for me. That's why we're here. Maybe. Well, let's do some gardening. Harvest some peach, currant, some tomatoes, some fruit, and some seeds. And you and you. Cultivate with prune or by pruning, I suppose. Red flower seeds, vegetable seeds. <clears throat> the goddess's rite of rebirth is the most significant ritual for the Church of Seros. Could it be that someone has spread these rumors of an assassination plot merely with the intention to hinder the celebration? It's possible. Okay. Hey. Professor, I hope you're well. As for me, I had a date with a splendid specimen of a knight. But now he's suddenly not in the mood to see me again. I blame all these rumors of a deathly figure showing up in town. Such an uproar must have, beyond reason, drawn his attention away from me. Right. Hmm, lots of cats, a dog. Professor, nothing to report. The goddess's rite of rebirth is this month, right? The monastery gates will be thrown wide open on that day. I'll be working as a guide. <clears throat> I hope I get to guide some lovely ladies around. <laughs> right. Cabbage. Used bottle of perfume. Uh, Anna so, has got... Hey, Professor. How's it going? Making lots of coin? I'd love to catch up, but I'm super busy right now. Working. For money. <laughs> you understand. Hey, how about... Alright, so this is a redoable, uh... Quest where I pick up items from fallen uh, oh. fallen people and give them to her Maybe. in exchange for some stat leveling things. Lady Rhea lifts the spirits of all the people of Bodlin. We cannot allow her to come to any harm. I agree. Let's go this way. So... Oh. <sighs> I've heard talk of students wandering the monastery late at night. They wouldn't happen to be from your class, would they? Please keep your students in line, Professor. Kids these days. Right. For an mm. me. Setting fire to the stables to distract everyone. To cause a commotion. It is the oldest trick in the book, but I cannot shake the thought that our enemies may attempt it. 
I will stand guard and watch over the stable and the knight's horses. They are truly magnificent. You do that. Please, do me a favor. Uh. Tea aficionado, a tea set. Confession letter. Hey there. Let's all this talk of assassination plots. It brings back dark memories I prefer to keep buried. I doubt there is any correlation, and yet... Ah, uh, it is nothing. I am sorry for allowing my mind to wander. My focus should be solely on guarding the monastery right now. Professor? I hear you have fought alongside Catherine. I would wager that her power exceeded your expectations. Had you the chance to witness her relic? Thunderbrand, glowing red. That glow is a sure sign that her blood contains a crest that harmonizes with that hero's relic. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's... Another quest. Artificial flower. Someone who wears flashy clothes. Uh, Lawrence? I figured it out, Professor. The enemy must be targeting Lady Rhea. They're gonna make it seem like they're going after something else, but then they're gonna go for her. Impressive, right? I'm telling you, my intuition's never wrong. Hey, I got a favor to ask. Fighting tournaments be held in the monastery to speak to the tournament organizer. Right. Sure. Uh. Professor? I can't go down there yet, for some reason. Yes, Mercedes. Hmm. Professor Yuritsa seems very familiar to me, but I don't recognize his name. I guess the resemblance could be coincidental. Okay. Oh, I'm already having. I might try and get Mercedes. She's a really good healer. Professor, in Bridget, assassinations are many. I have also been the targeted back in the past. Well, <laughs> happy he's right. The artist tower has an entrance of narrowness. That is most good. The windows are not the most good, though. A target of ease for snipers. Speaking of, we were? can you imagine the archbishop being murdered? <clears throat> for not to consider such a gruesome scenario. Of course not. Awfully calm, aren't you? I wonder what it takes to rile you up. <laughs> Bet you do. Any day now. Well, listen. The goddess's home is in the sky. She lives on a bright and shining star. But in the spring, you can't see that star. That means she can't protect Portland. That's why we all celebrate the day when her star returns to the sky. That's the day of the rite of rebirth. See? See? I've been studying. I know just about everything. Good for you, kid. That reminds people seem to think that all the knights of Seros are equal. But that isn't quite so. There are many distinguishing ranks within the order. For example, there are squires who are training to become knights, as well as full knights, like myself. Oh, and then we have the holy knights, such as Catholic. Those are the knights that can wield a hero's relic. Cool. No, seriously. It's good. Good to know. Eh. Oof. Running into friggin' walls here. Have you visited the goddess tower? 
It's a sacred place used for rituals and the like. In general, students aren't allowed entry. But as you'd expect, that rule just excites their curiosity. <laughs> Some have even tried sneaking in. Well, at least for this month, that kind of behavior is totally unthinkable. We have a lot more security, what with the goddess's right of rebirth coming up. More investigation notes. Smithing stone. Professor. Professor. I am afraid I have acted a bit childishly toward my brother recently. Given the circumstances, I requested that he provide me with some candies. <laughs> Silly of me, really. The timing was improper, and I regret it very much now. Oh, but more importantly, this place is off limits, Professor. It is only open to the public on the day of the goddess's right of rebirth. <clears throat> okay. Here's an idea. Mysterious notebook. Someone who likes telling jokes. On the day of the rite, the monastery will be open to the public, including the Holy Mausoleum. The Holy Mausoleum is where the tomb of the Divine Saros lies. There she slumbers, eternally. That's pretty much all that's in there. Just an ancient coffin. It's sealed with a powerful magic to protect against would-be grave robbers. Okay. Let's first give this to Eloise. Let's use the jokester here. Have you visited the Goddess Tower? It's a sacred place used for... In general, students are to... But as you'd expect... That rule just excites their curiosity. <laughs> Some have even tried... Well, that we have a lot more... Oh, this is my... Twenty or so years ago, there was a big fire in Garrig Mach. On that day, Captain Geralt went missing. Everyone thought he was dead. It never occurred to me that he might actually have survived. The truly strange part is that, in all those years, he hasn't changed a bit. Monastery preparing for the goddess's rite of rebirth this month. It feels like everyone's a little on edge. You're kidding. I can't stop thinking about Monato. I'm sorry, Professor. I know this isn't the time, but I just can't get past it. Oh, thank you. No matter what happens, I promise you I'll do my part. I'm back.
uh, cook with ash. I believe this is Mercedes. Yep. Alright. That reminds me. I missed somebody over there. Professor. Speaking of. Oh, loading, chugging, chugging, loading. Hey, Professor. A moment. <sighs> Do you know what this room is? It is the church's treasure vault. I say treasure, but I do not mean silver and gold and jewels. It mostly contains weapons, artifacts, and the like. Anything that would cause too great a stir, should it be stolen? No. The church knows better than to store anything too valuable in such an accessible location. Good to know. Hmm. Professor? Hey, Caspar. Hey, Petra. Hello, Ansel Fang. No classes on a festival day. I thought I'd get to spend all day relaxing in the company of some lovely ladies. But now this mess has happened. Hey, Professor, I know there's talk of an assassination attempt, but do you really think they'll do it on the day of the Rite of Rebirth? I feel like security would be looser some other time. Is there some reason why it has to happen on that day? I think I can actually recruit Sylvain. Hey, Professor, I'd like to be in your class. I've been thinking, maybe I ought to get serious about studying. Wow, very decisive. I like it. I'll be there on time and in the front row and everything. You'll never have a better student. Sylvain's. So Did you know that on the last day of the rite, the monastery's open to the general public? It's kind of fun. It makes the place feel like a festival. Sylvain is very easy to recruit because uh, I'm playing a female character. Best pest practices. Thank you. Sedith? I've been in town procuring some supplies for Flame. Uh, did you get her candy? Hold on one second. Alright. No. But do not concern yourself for my safety. I am very much stronger than I appear. I have something to ask of you. That's your wish says how can I find information by Matrician method in the Knights Hall. Okay. And it doesn't look like there's anything else over here. Let's go to the dining hall. Sleepy. So sleepy. Too sleepy. I found an interesting book in the library. Got so caught up reading it, I forgot to sleep. An interesting discovery, though. The coffins of the four saints in the sanctum each have their crests carved into them. I'll need to find a way down there to get a look. Don't get yourself in trouble, man. Have you heard? Rumor has it that Death himself has been appearing in Garrig Mach. They say he appears every night and kidnaps folks. I wonder what happens to them. Hmm. That's so. Uh, something in the monastery that someone might go after? There's so much here, I couldn't possibly name just one. Even this here kitchen contains precious wares, wine bottles from centuries past and the like. I hear that stuff is fancy, but not very drinkable. I doubt anyone would go to the trouble of stealing it. I think that's four out of five. What's the matter? You're running all over creation. Ah, you don't believe Lady Rhea is the real target, do you? Even so, the Knights have their orders. We can't abandon our duty to guard Lady Rhea. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth is an important event for the Church of Seros. They say it's the day when the Goddess will return to walk among us. Not too likely, if you ask me. Uh, best if you keep that to yourself. Right. Right, um... That's so, so, here... I was thinking... Have you heard of the War of the Eagle and Lion? It was the battle that won the kingdom its independence from the Empire. 
Even the Church of Saros had no choice but to recognize the courage of Lug, the King of Lions who emerged victorious. The Church awarded him a crown and the right to govern the Fargus region, backing him in his bid to found the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. In return, Lug agreed to make the Church of Saros the religion of his territory, and permitted them to publicly proselytize across the kingdom. In the 400 years since, the Church and the Kingdom have continued to maintain very close relations. Hello. Fascinating. There's been talk of an attempt on Rhea's life. We've been ordered to help the Knights patrol. Could that possibly mean that Rhea isn't beloved by everyone the world over? Hmm. It seems there were forces opposing the Church, beyond Lord Lonato. I never thought such forces could exist in this world. Uh, we're only a small part of this world. I suppose that may be true. Oh, Professor, excuse me. What you writing? I don't know who's to blame for all this commotion, but it's frankly a huge inconvenience. With everyone stuck on guard duty, our study and training time has been drastically reduced. Hmm. Yes, you? I'm actually very busy. Right. Just checking. I want less Cynthia too. The monks declined my offer of assistance. They said that no one from Dusker is to be trusted, especially now. Given the circumstances, I cannot fault them. I can. People die in every battle, and it can be by sword or spear or magic, but depending on who it is that died, depending on who died, it's different. I hope nothing bad happens this month. Me too. Bag of tea leaves. Interest in tea. It's probably Ferdinand since he just gave me a tea set to give to somebody. Our enemy's true target. What could it be? The monastery has been around for nearly a millennium. <coughs> it's only logical that there are secrets here. We'd better investigate. Would you mind asking around and seeing what you can dig up? Once you've uncovered some leads, we'll regroup. I have a favor to ask. Okay. We need more information. Right. Raphael. I bet the enemy is using this assassination nonsense just to sneak in and raid the pantry. What do you think, Professor? Uh, you may be right. Oh, I'm right. All He's right. not, but I know that's what he wants to hear. The enemy is after our best meats. All right. Uh, looks like there's one more person to talk to over here. Shamir. You spend too much time roaming the monastery. If you're looking for something, try less aimless wandering. Uh, I was thinking about the enemy's objective. Do you even know who the enemy is? You can't know why without knowing who. It's none of my business anyway. I'm just here to take care of enemies who get too close. Okay. Huh? Let's go to Abyss really quick. We're gonna teach twice this week. Professor, hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. Yes, invisible person. I'm what you might call the chosen one, the Alpha of Abyss, the Reaper and the Keeper. That said, I've had some unnecessary backup recently. Lord Seteth requested my presence. There's an important ceremony happening this month. If only my backup had been a lovely lady with a thing for Watchmen. We could have had a love story for the ages. <sighs> right. Ugh, more 
church thugs. Can't anybody relax and have a drink around here? Loosen up. How about a game? You like cards? <laughs> I do like cards. So many cats. Need something? Not to episode 13. I'll see you again soon. Okay. Nothing over here, but more cats. Let's see if there's any junk in here. Broken iron gauntlets and a broken bow. Ideas about the people after Lady Rhea. And even I don't know how this will shake out. I don't seem very devout, do I? <laughs> even so, I'd hate to see anything happen to the Archbishop. That secret message is suspicious. To take it at face value seems unwise. Not to be disrespectful, but the rite of rebirth seems kind of silly. What, the goddess is reborn every year? Although. Hey, if you do run into her, let me know. I'd like to have a word. I bet she'll be pretty upset to learn what the church has been doing in her name. <laughs> well, this god statue speaks to me in a strange voice. It is a strong voice. I wonder what is on the inside of it. Okay. <laughs> I hear some thieves are targeting the monastery. I've been feeling restless lately, so if you want some help unleashing on those jerks, just say the word. Uh, I appreciate oh, it. Oh, this could be fun. Now I've just got to figure out where they'll be coming from. My fists are itching for a brawl. Hopefully, I get first crack at those poor fools. First the uprising, and now all this talk of an assassination? What is the world coming to? I should offer my magical services, just in case. Uh, what kind of services? I've devised a spell to trick flowers into behaving like guard dogs. At the first sign of an intruder, the petals burst open, releasing their pollen. Uh, I'm I'm still fine tuning it. Oh. Uh, okay. So we're done here in the abyss. I think we've talked to everybody. Now we have to do the missions that everybody wanted. Also, a few places I need to search for uh, items in. Uh, while we're up here, though, let's do. Oh, it's not here. Training grounds. No, oh, it's Felix and Catherine. Or Yuritsa. Noctis handkerchief, Flandre brand replica, and a badge of graduation. You're skilled. Why won't you battle me? Hmm. Okay. Lord Lenato's rebellion may have been quelled, but the unrest in Fargus isn't dying down anytime soon. The Boar Prince should hurry up and claim the throne, rather than letting old customs hold him back. Huh. Okay. Swords, huh?
Uh, go for it, Yuri. Hey, no, they're both, they're both all the way up. Face it, I'm better than you. Okay. Fifty gold. Face it, I'm better than you. Fifty more gold. I didn't know they could get crits here. Uh, in that case, I better heal. as long as I don't miss. Alright, good. Not too shabby. Alright. Got a steel sword plus. Professor level goes up by quite a bit. I ask you. Got a steel axe, poultry, and wild game. And 300 right now. Like I was saying before, I need to go... Well, I need to... First of all, I should, uh... Drop these items off. Let's go to cast bar. And there's also something in here. For Sedeth, I think. What the... Thieves Intel, yes. I believe cast bar was up here. Figure they're gonna make impressive. Gift. I'll set it up. Thunderbird. Yeah, that's definitely my Alright, let's find Lorenz. <coughs> Give him his artificial flower and the tea set. Okay. The goddesses, could it be that's Kind of you. Oh. I will have to repay you sometime. Now I can do tea parties. I don't I don't do a lot of tea parties. But it's good to have it. Set it. Another owl feather. Good. Oops. And a secret ledger. Deeply involved in commerce. That would be, uh, that'd be Anna, wouldn't it? And let's talk to Seth while he's here. While we're here. The Amiibo Gazebo. Coolest name ever. Well done. You have my thanks. Ancient coin and a concoction. Items. 
Secret ledger. You know, I haven't actually done anything with Anna before. Maybe I will this time. Um. So. Who am I looking for? Ferdinand. Along with any items I missed. I thought there was one more this month. But I don't remember what it was or where it was. Is that it? Oh, that's an arcane crystal. I'm gonna have to go fishing too. I'm gonna save that for the end of the episode when I could possibly do it off screen. Stand guard. Oh. Uh, next is Hubert. That's so. <coughs> Speaking of, can you imagine? I prefer not. Yes, that is. I believe the confession letter is for Marianne. Use bottle of perfume. I think it's for Hilda, but we can't give anything to her yet. Didn't even give me the option. And Catherine. Oh, I never went up here. You'd best keep your distance. In this nervous state, I might just cut you down. Oh, yeah? I do you try. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm only kidding. Lost item, badge of graduation. <laughs> Might you have come looking for me because you were worried about my safety? Uh, maybe. I'm quite old. But your concern means a great deal. What can I give? Oh, I only have... I'm missing six and one. At least six and one. Uh, I think that said elegant hair clip. I'm probably too fast. I think the elegant hair clip is Dorothea. Unbelievable. What a terrifying story. However, an assassination attempt on Lady Rhea is doomed to fail. Pardon? You think the goal may be different than simple assassination? Intriguing. I suppose the priceless objects in this room could perhaps draw thieves. However, there's no one but me who could make use of them. There's one. Unbelievable. Pardon. Intrigue. Alright. Yeah, elegant haircut. Not sure who that's for. Wellness herbs. Those would be for Manuela, most likely. Which would make sense since we did find them in her office. Thank you. 
Hey, did you hear? A knight wielding a scythe is roaming around town at night. If he's a villain, I'd like to get the measure of him. Really? I wonder if we can give the yellow gang hair clip to, uh... Boy who assists What's the Archbishop. Chase? Cyril, I believe? I hear he's originally from a foreign land to the east called Almira. I know he's still only a child, but I do wonder about his true intentions. I'm gonna try and give it to Rhea. Hmm. There are numerous books in this library that you cannot find anywhere else. But once you are here, you can read them easily enough. I doubt someone would go to the trouble of stealing one. Sometimes Seteth will dispose of books that are deemed inappropriate for the monastery, but that's about it. In a way, I suppose that makes those particular volumes more valuable, right? I suppose so. Hey, that's everything. Let's get back to Alucard. First, let's get rid of the care clip. I. <laughs> yes, that is surely mine. I appreciate you bringing this to me. Okay. Hey, Professor, as for me, I blame old. Uh, wherever did this turn up? It's in your room, I didn't really have to look hard for it, and no supports. So, what we're going to do is fish the two insect larvae I found. Professor, I was thinking. I knew I could count on you. Hmm. There's a place that the church values above all others. On the day of the rite, it will be open to the public. That will make it much easier than usual to access. Uh, the Holy Mausoleum. Precisely. We can't know for certain, but it's a distinct possibility that the Holy Mausoleum is our enemy's target. Okay. So with that, I'm going to go quickly eat, and then we'll call it a day. I was thinking. I want to thank you all very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a like. 
share, comment, subscribe. It always helps me out. Uh, let's see. Edelgard needs to eat with... Linhart. None of them particularly like this. So Ferdinand and Dorothea. Food tastes best when you are sharing it with others. Do you not think so, Dorothea? Yes. Present company excluded, of course. Okay. About Lidhart and Happy. Nope. There we go. Blindheart and Happy. Are there any foods you particularly dislike, Happy? Anything in today's meal, for instance? Nope. But also, none of your business. Right. And finally... Bar Dorothea Caspar and Dorothea. Caspar Caspar and Petra, Caspar and Petra. Sorry, well, this is taking a while. Little Garden Bernadetta. Oh, I love this meal. How did you know? Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. Thank you. So when we come back, we'll watch Baylith and Happy and Bernadetta and Edelgard. <clears throat> Till next time, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day, and take care.